All right, and uh, this example, um, this is going to be helpful for the uh, take-home big quiz that that you guys are, are having, and it's going to be finding the area uh, in common between, and I'm going to change it so it works out a little bit nicer. Uh, instead of r equals 1, we're going to do r equals uh, 1 half, and uh, the, the rose petal cosine of 3 theta. So I think we've graphed cosine to 3 theta in class, um, and at least on one of the other videos uh, that that's available to you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, go through graphing the rose curve again. Um, we want to first do the the regular trig graph like you did in pre-cal and trig, um, or trig. Um, and so we want to use the the poles. So we want the three theta to give us the values of zero uh, pi over two, pi uh, three pi over two and uh, 2 pi, so dividing by 3, that gives us the theta is 0, pi over 6, uh, pi over 3, pi over 2, and 2 pi over 3. So we'll go ahead and set up our uh, chart, and if you want, you can verify on your own that uh, these uh, values of theta will do exactly what we want them to do. So we'll go ahead and evaluate those, and that's going to give us 1, 0, minus 1, 0, and uh, 1. And I'm going to go all the way back to negative pi over 6, um, and that's going to help us find what the uh, limits of integration are going to be, so that we have one, one good uh, rose, rose petal. So there's our cosine graph, and then we'll just extend it off to the negative pi over 6 on the other side there. Um, and then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, start getting that, that graph going. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to find where we um, cross the pole. So that's where the cosine is equal to 0. Cosine is equal to 0 when the angle is pi over 2 or 3 pi over 2 or 5 pi over 2 or 7 pi over 2 or the negative versions. That's going to be the north and the south pole. Um, so we'll write out a couple of them. So pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2 and 5 pi over 2 and 7 pi over 2, and then we'll divide everything by 3. It gives us pi over 6, uh, pi over 2, uh, 5 pi over 6, and uh, 7 pi over 6. Now, it was either in the first or the, the second example video that, that is on this type of stuff, we actually went ahead and verified that these are actually going to be tangents. Um, pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6 are going to be on the same radial line. Um, then we'll put in uh, pi over 2 and also 5 pi over 6. That's going to help guide the graph. Um, the other thing is we're going to use the maximum and minimums from our uh, graph over in the left-hand corner to kind of help us out. So I've highlighted in yellow uh, negative pi over 6 to pi over 6 in the graph in the left-hand corner, uh, and that's going to help uh, sketch the first rose petal. So we're going to we're going to go out to 1 here, and uh, so we'll sketch that first rose petal. And so it'll be from negative pi over 6 to um, pi over 6. So 11 pi over 6 and negative pi over 6. Um, I guess we can call them coterminal angles or they're, they're in the same location. Um, and then the second portion is um, this part here from pi over 6 to pi over 2. So pi over 6 to pi over 2 is this part right here. However, this portion is going to be reflected over here because of the, it is below the x-axis is negative, and that's going to be reflected over here. So you're going to actually have a rose curve down here, or a rose petal here. Okay, so that gives us that portion there. And then finally, the last portion, I've only graphed part of it, but from pi over 2 to 2 pi over 3, um, that's positive, peaking here. Uh, and it, it'll finish off and, and come back down. Um, so that'll give us the, the final. Uh, now, for what we're actually doing in this problem, I only need to graph one of the rose petals. The one uh, from negative pi over 6 to pi over 6 would be the best. Um, and uh, I went ahead and changed it to r equals, and I already did, but um, later in the video I realized, uh, let's let's make this a little bit nicer. Uh, so we do r, r equals... Uh, uh, one half as opposed to one, which I originally had planned. So, so we have r is equal to one half, and uh, that's just a circle, um, the radius one half. So I'm going to do my best to to sketch it there. Okay, 
And so what we're doing is we're, we're trying to find the area uh, in common between the two of them. Um, and so we're trying to find uh, the area in here. So we're trying to find that, that area right there. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go to another slide and uh, we're going to, well, for, first I'm going to find where those intersect. So I need to know where those two graphs intersect. Um, and then we'll go on to another uh, slide here. So the graph of one half, when does that equal the cosine of three theta? All right, well, if you go off your unit circle, um, the cosine uh, is equal, to, that's the x coordinate, is equal to one half in two places. One of them is going to be pi over three, and the other one is going to be 5 pi over 3. Now, if we want to play with the negative angles, instead of using uh, 5 pi over 3, we're going to use uh, negative pi over 3, okay? So, when cosine of pi over 3 or cosine of negative pi over 3, uh, or when we take that, um, that's going to give us an output of 1 half. So, that means the angle 3 theta needs to be equal to plus or minus uh, pi over 3, okay? And uh, dividing by 3, that's going to give us theta is equal to plus or minus uh, uh, pi over 9. And uh, I went ahead in, in green here. I, I've given you the, those other two radio lines where, where the two graphs intersect. But that's like kind of small. So we're going to move on to the next page. We're going to draw a lot less. We're going to do the pedal and we're going to do part of the, the circle and then we'll draw in our pi over 6, our negative pi over 6, our pi over 9, and negative pi over 9 radial lines. We're going to graph all of that here. Okay, so here's our rose petal. There is our circle that intersects it. Um, and then we're going to put in uh, pi over 9, negative pi over 9, pi over 6, and negative pi over 6 as our radial lines, okay? Um, and so it, it just depends on, uh, which, which graph is kind of, uh, determining the, the, the area. Um, so this, uh, this little sliver here, that is between, uh, pi, negative pi over six and negative pi over nine. That's solely determined by the, uh, the rose petal. And then um, uh, this region in here, that's completely bounded by the 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 uh, the circle. So that's going to going to be the circle. So we're going to go rows, circle, and then at the top, at the top, it's going to revert back to the the uh, rows curve here. Okay, and so from. Uh, pi over 9 to pi over 6 is going to be the rose curve. And so how we're going to write that is we're going to say it's um, it's rose plus the circle uh, plus the rose. So who knows why I decided to have this lowercase now because it's in the semester here. So let's try to be consistent. Uh, rose, uppercase R. Um, and this is just one petal. This is three petals, so that's where the three is going to come from. And it's going to be three over two. And then where are we doing the rows? From negative pi over six to uh, negative, I'm sorry, negative. So I wrote it backwards here. Let's fix it. So it should be uh, negative pi over six uh, to negative pi over nine. And we're using the rows. So the rows was cosine 3 theta squared d theta plus, and then we're going to do the circle, and uh, so we have that limit messed up here. Negative pi over 9, pi over 9 of the circle, which is just radius 1 half squared d theta plus 3 halves, and then we're going back to the rows, um, pi over 9 to pi over 6 uh, cosine of uh, three theta uh, squared d theta, okay? Uh, it's going to be some, you know, routine uh, integration, nothing too crazy. You're going to have to use the power-reducing formula on both the rows curves 
Um, but that's kind of the, the tricky part is, is we've addressed, uh, uh, you actually do need three integrals and then on that uh, take home portion, you're going to have something kind of similar to this. Uh, so, uh, there may be another, uh, video or two that I might give you, give you a couple more hints.